hidden amongst the leaves are invisible monsters of London, the translucent insects. They're not visible to the naked eye, but they're there, waiting to attack. Help us pray. Let's go on an adventure to find them. Hello, I'm Dr. Bogsworth, and I have a PhD in invisible insects. You might not believe it, but right here we have the habitat of the invisible cricket. There is an ecosystem in here that, whilst not being seen, is very active. This area is perfect because whilst there may be pigeons looming around, posing a possible danger for these crickets, they're invisible, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm here in London with the world-renowned expert on the invisible bugs of London, Dr. Six Legs. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Could you tell us a little bit about the habitat we have here and what we can expect to see invisible bug-wise? Plenty. There is much to be seen here. As, as you well know, this, this topic is very current. Uh, there is a pandemic spreading. It might soon be an epidemic. Uh, these bugs are taking over our land. Uh, they are both in the undergrowth and the uh, higher up bush, bush life, bush trees. There is a whole world of invisible animals. This is breaking news, people. We have just learned that there are not only invisible insects that are a growing problem, but invisible animals as well. What other animals? We are, in fact, surrounded by a flock of invisible seagulls as we speak. This is the institution which is most devoted to the research going into these invisible animals that are taking over our city. It has got government funding to research why they are invisible, what they are doing with their invisibility, and how we can stop them from doing what they are doing. It's a worrying time, but it's very reassuring to know that a lot of money is going into this research to find out if we can make our animals visible again. People of Britain, it may seem bleak that these invisible monsters are taking over our lives, but just remember, there is hope. Thanks to institutions like the one we're in, there will soon be an answer for you all.